What's good, everybody? It's your boy Josh here, back with another video. I told you I'm gonna try and upload every day, but uh, I'm today, as you can tell by the title, what we're gonna be doing. I just turned it over as soon as the game started, but uh, as you can tell by the title, what we're gonna be doing, I'm gonna be telling you guys my top 10 NBA players today. Now, before we get into this video, I just want to ask y'all a question Do you guys still want to be labeled as the cool nation? Because if y'all still want me to be cool, Josh 101, I, I'm cool with that, no pun intended. But uh, I'm good with that if you guys want to be still, you guys still want to be the cool nation. Because I'm good with being cool, Josh 101, again. Because uh, when I first started YouTube, I'm like, oh, cool, Josh 101's coming back. But I'm like, man, am I still going to go with that username? I mean, that's not my game attack on PS4 anymore. But if you guys still want to be labeled as a cool nation, I got you. But uh, anyway, like I said, we're going to be getting into this uh, top 10. So we're just going to start. I tried recording this video two times before uh, and things just went wrong. But hopefully third time's the charm and we're going to do this. I am told you guys, I'm going to grind for y'all. So anyway, let's get into this list now. So at number 10, I got Damian Lillard. Why? When healthy... Th when everyone's healthy, third best shooter in the league. Obviously, you got Curry and Clay, but uh, Damon Lillard is just a—he's a phenomenal three-point shooter. I think well, he'd be my favorite player uh, when uh, my favorite player return, uh, returns retires. Uh, I'll tell you guys who that is later on in the video. But yeah, I—I I, I think he'd be my favorite player uh, later down the road because and he's. He's an alright defender. I'm not going to say he's a good defender. He's an alright defender. Like, defense is a big part in, um... Defense is a big part in the, in basketball. But, that that's why I have him at number 10. Because he's not the greatest defender. But he he's a major threat offensively. And you talk about his clutch shooting. Oh my goodness. Like, come on. Do I, do I really got to talk about Damian Lillard's clutch shooting? Like, we already know what he's about there. But anyway, let's uh, get into number nine. Number nine, we got someone I love to see go against Damian Lillard, and they always put on a show when they go against each other. Russell Westbrook. Why? He He's a f he's phenomenal. I love his aggression. His He'd be one of my... F he's one of my favorite players, too. Like, his aggression. He can... He can hit the mid range, but it's just his three. Like he, he can't really hit threes that well, but he he can hit them every now and then. This it's not like he's a no offense, but it's not like he's a Ben Simmons. Like he he can hit jump shots. He can drive to the basket. Like you talk about his driving to the basket. Like he averaged a triple double for what two three seasons it was. I'm not a, I'm not a journalist, chill. Um, but yeah, Russell Westbrook is just a phenomenal player. Definitely a top ten, no, without a doubt. Uh, I don't see how you could argue with that, uh, with him not being a top ten. If you guys disagree, I know some people are going to disagree with uh, the this list. So if you do, just let me know in the comments. We can talk about it. So number eight on the list, we got Russell Westbrook's teammate James Harden. Why is he only number eight? Because he's not that good defensively. He's not a great defensively. So you're probably asking me, why is Russell Westbrook number nine then? Because Russell Westbrook's not as good a scorer of James Harden as James Harden is. James Harden can give you 50 any night. He what? He averaged 50 at one point, didn't he? James Harden, phenomenal scorer, definitely one of the best scorers in NBA history, without a doubt. Like I, I don't know how you can argue against that. Not the best, but one of the best in, in the business at scoring of all time. Without it, without a doubt, you, I, I don't, I can't see how you can argue with that. I mean, I know you have other scorers, but James Harden, he, he's definitely up there now. But uh, so, number. Uh, number seven, we got Kyrie Irving. Oh, yeah, Kyrie Irving. Why? Phenomenal ball handles. 
I have him only at number seven because his his time with Boston wasn't it was, it was good. They had a good run, but I didn't. I don't. He he showed that he can't be a leader of a team. Like that's no offense to Kyrie Irving. Like I'm a huge Kyrie fan, and then he he didn't really play that that much or that good yeah, this year so far with uh, Brooklyn. So I <clears throat> that's why I have Kyrie at number seven. But with, uh, um, other than all of that, he's a phenomenal scorer. He's not that of a threat off and uh, defensively. Sorry. But he's definitely one of one of if if not the best ball handler in the league, uh, or of all time even. Like people compare him to Allen Iverson. Personally, I think Kyrie Irving is the better ball handler. But it's it's a very close matchup there. So anyway, we're gonna get into number six now. Number six, I got Steph Curry. Why? Best three point shooter ever. In NBA history, like, you, with without a doubt, like who 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 can shoot the ball like Steph Curry, past and present? There's nobody you can tell me or find that can shoot in the world that can shoot the ball like Steph Curry. Nobody. He's without a doubt the best shooter in the world, and I only have him at number six. Because I, I mean, def defense is a big thing. I mean, people say defense wins championships, and my response to that is, since when does defense score points? I mean, defense is good. Yeah, it's good to have, but like you still need to score. Offense is a big is a big thing in today's game. Like, you have people shooting the ball like Steph Curry. Like, what's defense is gonna do about that? Like, and if you have a person like, if you have a person like, for example, let's just take LeBron James. If you have someone like LeBron James running down full steam ahead, like down the court, and you're and you're just one person, I, I, it's not likely you're gonna stop that. He's either gonna dunk on you, draw a foul, or he's gonna he's gonna finish on you. So, I would say offense wins more games than today's NBA, cause. Steph Curry, we're going back to the list now. He crosses half court. He's in range. That is insane. He is in range as soon as he crosses half court. If not, he's in range when he gets to the logo. Like it, it's that crazy. I think he's you. I've never seen like you can't find a shooter like Steph Curry. But uh, now we're gonna move on to number five. Number five, we got Giannis Antetokounmpo, the MVP. The MVP. You guys are probably asking why I only have him at number five, cause I got, I got good reasons for why he's only number five. You can, you guys are gonna see the players uh, that I have next. But uh, yeah, number five, I got Giannis. He's, he's getting a bit better at the three ball, but he still doesn't have that good of a jump shot. Somehow he can knock down threes in 2K though. Uh, maybe it's because online when I play against him, he's knocking down threes. But he can. Uh, he he's a he's a definite threat threat offensively and defensively. So you you can't really stop Giannis. That's why he won MVP. And he's he's so good because uh, he's mainly the only star on the team. I know you got Chris Middleton. And stuff like that, but Giannis is he's a beast. Come on, like there's there's no debating that. So uh number four, we got Anthony Davis. Oh my gosh, my mic. <laughs> Alright, we're good now. So number four we got Anthony Davis. Why? Uh threat he he's definitely gonna win defensive player of the year. As uh, his time on the Lakers, he's definitely gonna resign. But uh, he's a threat offensively. He moves like a point guard. He's a four that moves like a one, which is insane. Like he can he can handle the ball pretty well. He can he can shoot the three. He can shoot the mid range, and he's an amazing defender. 
So, I mean, number four, Anthony Davis, it's a perfect fit for him. I mean, I know some people will disagree, but when you really look at Anthony Davis's game, he's, he's, uh, voice crack. He's unstoppable. <laughs> like, especially when it gets warm. Oh, my goodness. You, you can, you're not going to stop him. And I'm just, I just realized I'm getting it handed to me right now in 2K right now. Because I'm more focused on this video. Uh, but it's my duty to give you guys a good gameplay, you know. But, uh, number f three on the list I think we got. Oh, my gosh. My, li uh, my list is uh, gone. Hold on. Let, let me get a stop here. Okay. So, uh, yeah, number three on the list, I got Kawhi Leonard. Why? Kawhi, you ask? Because he's Kawhi Leonard. <laughs> like, what do you want me to say? He's one, he's one of the best scorers ever, ever to step foot on a court. One of the best scorers in the world. Like, uh, LeBron on the Miami Heat, prime LeBron, was scared of baby Kawhi. He was a he was a youngin when uh LeBron was on the heat. Kawhi checked into the game, LeBron was, LeBron knew what was up. LeBron knew Kawhi was real. He knew this guy was something. So that's how I'm saying and Kawhi Leonard, you talk about his offense. Oh my goodness. You talk about his clutch shooting. I mean <laughs> you just gotta look at the Sixers game to be honest. But and are we really going to get into Kawhi Leonard's defense right now? Probably one of the best, if not the best, defense player in the league. Uh, yeah, over Anthony Davis because, I mean, he, he can lock down pretty much anyone, to be honest. Uh, Kawhi Leonard, that is. Like, he's he's off. He's You can't really score on him. I mean, LeBron proved us otherwise in that um, Clippers and Lakers game that we last had but he's other than that he's amazing offensively defensively and there's no without a doubt he without a doubt he's a top five player i mean if you disagree with that go ahead and um go ahead and comment down below but i i can't see how you can disagree with him being a, a top three player in the league uh, I mean, you could make an argument with Giannis, but I mean, I wouldn't, or Davis, but I mean, I, I, I don't think I'd, um, not Davis, uh, yeah, Giannis, uh, but Kawhi Leonard, he's, he's definitely top three, without a doubt. Now, number two, I remember my final two. Number two, I got LeBron James. You you thought LeBron was gonna be uh, number one, huh? Well, I forgot to mention this at the beginning of the video because I'm getting close to this. Um, injuries do not count as because um, uh, I mean I did say Kyrie Irving he had, he was injured for a bit, um, so injuries do not count. So I'm just letting you guys know that. But lem number two, I got LeBron James. This man needs no explanation. No explanation whatsoever. <laughs> like, I mean, I know he only has uh, three rings. So, I mean, like, but he is an, he's an animal. You can't stop LeBron James. Not even Kawhi Leonard can. That's why I have Kawhi number three and LeBron at number two. Because no one, no one right now uh, is better than uh, LeBron. And I, I use the word right now, and you probably wonder why I have him at number two then. And that's because number one is injured right now. Number one, I have Kevin Durant. Why? He's almost seven feet tall. He can dribble. He can shoot. He can defend. He gave LeBron James problems in the NBA Finals. What? How can you argue that Kevin Durant went healthy? Even 70% Kevin Durant is enough. He That game against the Raptors when he had to go out, when he was scoring, I thought he was going to drop 40. He was definitely going to drop 40 if he didn't get hurt. I, I really think he would have dropped 40 that game. I think if a lot of people say um, 
even if Kevin Durant played in the NBA Finals, the Raptors still would have won. Sorry, my throat was bothering me just now. No, I'm not, I'm not sick. Don't worry. But uh, a lot of people say that the Raptors still would have won with Kevin Durant still playing. I completely disagree. I, I think the Warriors would have won in at least five against the Raptors if the whole Warriors team was healthy. But uh, Kevin Durant... Best player in the league when healthy. No one can stop Kevin Durant at all. Like I don't I don't see who can stop Kevin Durant. Like he dribbles, he he can size you up, he'll he'll beat you at any time. Like you you can't sleep on Kevin Durant, like you, you can't sleep on defense on K D. Like LeBron LeBron learned that the hard way by uh in the two thousand seventeen NBA final. LeBron's my favorite player by the way. I know I said I'll say uh, who my favorite player is, but I'm going off who is the better player. I'm not I'm not being biased in this list. LeBron James is my favorite player. I'd love to see him beat Kevin. I I was kind of I was kind of mad when, I, when Kevin Durant beat him, but if we're being real here, Kevin Durant is the best player in the league, if not in the world. No, yeah, Kevin Durant is the best player in the world when healthy. Like, there's no doubt about it. Like. A lot of people will disagree me with disagree with on this, but I mean, the guy is not even a hundred percent yet. And you see his, those practice videos he's making, he's making all those shots, and they're not like they're from deep three two, kind of. But like seventy percent, like I said, seventy percent KD isn't enough to w help you win a chip. Like if seventy percent KD came back. Um, with Kyrie healthy, I think I think that Brooklyn Nets would be would be Eastern Conference Finals uh, threats. Like, I I think they would be championship threat. They'll definitely be a championship team when they're all healthy. But yeah, that that's my uh, top ten list uh, for NBA players right now. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, this video is getting a bit too long, I think. So I'm just gonna uh, um, a end it right now. So, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you disagree with, what you agree with. Uh, just let me know your opinions. We can talk about it. I know some people are gonna get mad because maybe I put their favorite player like really low or maybe not high enough. Kind of the same thing, but maybe you just didn't agree with the placing. Maybe you have the same top ten, but you don't uh, agree with the placing. Just let me know. And uh, let me know if you guys still want to be called the Cool Nation. And what a way to go out with the video. <laughs> um, you know what? My goal for this video is to take this lead before this game is done. Uh, before this video is done. So I'm going to take the lead and then I'm going to end the video. Alright? Watch. I'm, I'm actually trying because I'm actually focusing right now. Alright. If, if I got scored on the... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, get, get that garbage out of here. Give me that. Give me that. We on the fast break. We on the fast break. And slam down LeBron. Yeah, that's my favorite player. It's not Kevin Durant. Don't worry. Uh, but yeah. So like I said in the beginning of the video, Damian Lillard will be my favorite player when LeBron James retires. So now you guys know my favorite player. And I guess you can say my backup favorite player. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Damian Lillard. I love the guy, man. So uh, I'll see y'all in the next video. Most likely tomorrow. I'm going to try my best. Uh, give me some video ideas. What you guys want? Because uh, it's it's kind of tough. I'm like I now I'm now getting back into this YouTube thing, and I'm just now remembering w what it's like to <laughs> be a YouTuber. Thinking of topics to do. So let me know what you guys want, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy.